What's going on guys? It's Sean with Cat5 Cards. Alright, tonight we're going to do a mystery booster box. This is the second print run of these babies. Um, yeah, I picked a couple up the other night. We're going to do another giveaway with this also. So we're going to do a one-pack giveaway out of here. Boy, I'll tell you what. You could have a Mana Crypt hiding in that pack. And the way I've been picking them, you can just ask Joseph Dustin. I pick pretty good packs. Even the Ikoria Collector's Booster we did, the giveaway with that. That had some pretty, that shoot, that had almost probably 30-something, 40-something dollars worth of cards in it, something like that. So, Tommy won that. That was pretty sweet. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do another one tonight. Open this sucker up, and uh, we'll grab a pack out of it for the giveaway, and then we'll crack the rest open and see what we get, see how this second wave goes. Let's do it. Boy, I hope there's a mana crypt hiding in here somewhere. That's all I can say. There we go. Nice and empty. All right. Hmm, where am I going to pull it from? Let's go middle. Look at this one. Right there. There's your giveaway pack, guys. Put a little, put a, a little G on here, a little happy G. Kind of hard to make out, of course, but it's there. So, leave that sucker sitting right back there. To win that pack, all you got to do, like the video, leave me a comment, anything you want. Something about magic cards, anything you want. Leave a comment, and that basically enters you to win. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Because like I said, uh, every magic opening I do, I'm going to be giving away at least one pack of cards. So, I mean, some of the higher-end deals like these, the collector's boosters, stuff like that, I might only do one pack. A regular booster box opening i'll probably do maybe two or three packs something like that um yeah that's it let's get into it it should be sweet but yeah just all you got to do is leave a comment it's simple all right pack one lingering souls enduring victory Repulse, Flash Freeze, Lord of the Accursed, Mummy, Hellion, Tumor of Battle Rage, Formless Nurturing, Domesticated Hydra. Looks pretty cool. Armament Corpse, Sire, Weathered Wayfarer, Lord of Luxury, Form of the Dragon Foil. Alright, so we'll have a Foil Pile, Rare Pile, Old School, yeah, I think that's good. Yep. Alright. One pack down. No mana crypt yet. Pack two. Tarishi's Grasp. Conviction. Drake. Not the Rapper. Written into Bean. Drake's Club Security. Vampire, that's pretty cool looking. Jackal Pup. Tectonic Rift. Harmonize. Courier. Blade Wing. Dismal. Backwater. Nemesis of Reason. 
big old mob boss. And a death storehouse. Charge, Searing Light, Crystal Crab, Will o' the Wisp, Dragscape Zombie, War Marshal, some Flunkies, Warrior, Shrewd Hatchling. Tectonic Edge, Clasp, Mimic Vat, Mage Rider Stone. So far, I haven't seen any any double cards. I haven't gotten any, you know, doubles or anything yet that I've caught anyway. Mission Fatal Push at three hundred Bitter Revelation Rampaging Cyclops Blast Fire Bolt Big Ass Worm Borderland Explorer Grim Contest Artisan Guilt Leaf Palace, Sewer Nemesis, and Zer's Weirding. All right, so nothing too crazy yet. Let's keep it moving. Gust Walker. Academy, Big Ass Hermit, Shaman, Chain Mage, Orcish. <laughs> That's a pretty cool looking card. Grape Shot, Experiment One, Squid Man, Octopus Man, Ancient Brontodon, Contraband Kingpin. Time C, that's a sweet card. Yeah, that's a sweet card there. Hornet's Nest and a Novel Bandit. Seraph of the Sun. Driver of the Dead, that's a cool card too. Look at him, he's just chilling on the front. Crazy ass vampire. Mark of the Vampire. Curse of the Nightly Hunt. Gore Swine. Might of the Masses. Silk Weaver Elite. Azora's Charm. It's a pretty sweet card there too. Prophetic Prism, Energy Field, the Miri Re 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 Conjecture, <laughs> Sarkin the Mad. I'm telling you, you know, if you pay attention and watch my videos, it doesn't take much to, to give me the old tongue twister. Like I said. My brain and my mouth don't operate on the same wavelength every once in a while. Sunlance, Soul Perry, Opportunity, Homungulus, 
thorn of the black rose, a blister grub, azalea shift, venom sliver, grapple with the past, kiss of Amisha, whisper cloak, that's a pretty cool card too. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Font of Mythos. Phyrexian Arena. Bringer of the Black Dawn. All right. I'm cruising along. Slash of Talons, Isolation Zone, Metallic Rebuke, Spread and Rot, Murderous Compulsion, Shatter, Impact Tremors, Dragon Scale Boom, an Arbor, Bear's Companion, Sky Scanner, Belby's Portal, Goblin Chair Butcher, Marrow Nar. Okay. Straighten that out a little bit. I like to take my time, man. I'm in no hurry to rip through all these. I mean, these things are expensive, man. Might as well enjoy them while you're opening them. Blade Instructor. I also can't have a 45 minute video either, but still cool to check them out. Evasion. Thornwind. Laboratory Maniac. Pretty cool looking. A Cursed Spirit. Rune Mark. Run Amok. Volcanic Dragon. Bitter Blade Warrior, Greater Sandworm, Storm Chaser, whoops, sucker was slipper, Frontier, Soothsaying, whoops, Birds of Paradise, Blasting Station, that's a cool card too. <clears throat> Pacifism, Spectral Gate Guards, Enlightened Maniac, Refocus, Queen's Agent, Vampire Champion, Commando, whoops, Expedite, Adventurous Impulse, Protector, Pollen Bright Wings. I'm not even going to try it. Crag and Whack Cremator. Sliver Hive Lord. It's a pretty sweet looking card, too. And a Sundial of the Infinite. It's a sweet looking foil, too. Heck yeah. All right, so far I really haven't seen anything that's jumped out at me. We've gotten a few decent cards we've gone through, but no heavy hitters yet. Knight of the Skyward Eye. Hammer Skull. Essence Scatter. Lore Master. Executioner's Capsule. Subtle Strike. Mankind Slide Runner, Volcanic Rush, Fertile Ground, Shake the Sands, Freeze Dancer, Blasted Landscape, Hep 
not expector Phyrexian Plague Lord Gilded. <clears throat> Stag Siegecraft Singing Bell Strike Fallen Angel. Under Cities Embrace, Frenzied Raptor, Wayward Giant, Explore, Snake Umbra, Tower Gargoyle, Breaker of Armies, <clears throat> Manamorphose, Manamorphose, Beacon of Immortality, Celestial Karen. 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 <laughs> gonna make a Karen joke, but I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna bother. I don't wanna trigger anybody. Arrest. Bonds of Faith. Curiosity. Fleeting Distraction. Go for the throat. I love all the vampire cards. Foul bloods. Whoop. See, wouldn't be a video if I wasn't tossing cards around. Goblin balloon. Basking root walla. Glade watcher. Zealot. Reese the redeemed. Weir of Invention, a Blighted Agent. Angel of Renewal, move these guys. Get a little room, the stack's getting kind of high. Shining Armor. Jace's Phantasm, Mist Raven, Alter's Reap, Thornbow Archer, Shirt Commando, Maximize Velocity, Cruel Warrior, Elvish Fury, Hidden Stockpile, Mishra's Factory, Random foot pad. That's a cool looking. That's an old school looking card there. Gideon Jure. Boreal Druid. I'm probably butchering some of these names. I'm good at that too. I'll mix up a name, mispronounce words, mispronounce names. So yeah. Cut me some slack if I do. Bloodstained. Savannah Lions. Snapping Drake. Looks like the guy from Monsters, Inc. Nameless Inversion. A Catacomb Slug. Mog Fanatic. Furnace Whelp. Giant Spider. Bounty. Thought Eraser, it's pretty cool. Bizarre Barge, Goblin Game, Black Market, and a Mind Slaver. That's a pretty sweet card, too. All right, we're down to about one, two, eight packs left. Nine if you include the giveaway pack, which my luck. That's the pack that's got the Mana Crypt in it. Not that I don't want to give that away to a sweet subscriber. But I sure would like that for myself. Steady Progress. Chillbringer. 
Yeah, I'm way behind on my eBay postings. I have a ton of Ikoria collector's booster stuff. I've got a ton of regular Ikoria stuff. I got some mystery booster stuff I still got to post. Yeah, I'm way behind on my uh, <laughs> on my eBay listings. I spent like the better part of this afternoon just going through and organizing and getting getting stuff in order. Tefiri. Fungisaur. But yeah, I spent the better part of this afternoon going through everything and getting it getting it in order to be able to get posted up a little easier. So if you guys are into magic cards and you're looking for anything, anything I've opened up in these videos recently, um, this stuff here tonight, it's all going to be getting posted up. My goal is to have it all up this week. It's going to be tough because I have a ton of it to post, but definitely check it out. It's Cat 5 cards on eBay. Check out the store. There is, that's a cool looking card. There's a ton of, I mean, right now it's kind of dwindled down because I sell so many magic cards on there. I try to list my stuff, you know, at the best possible price that's reasonable for me and for you. So, I mean, I can guarantee you pretty much every card I post on there is, you know, going to be one of the better priced. Dragon Brood Mother, that's a pretty cool card. But it's going to be right there, you know, competitively priced. Because I like to move them, man. There's no sense in me opening up all these cards and holding on to them, you know, or trying to get an extra dollar or two out of each card. To me, I'd rather open them up, move them, and then that helps, you know, let me recoup some money to buy some more. Make more videos, keep moving more product out, you know. And you guys, you know, the guys that actually play with these cards or, you know, really collect them or play with them can, you know, get them you know i'd rather you have them than, than me hold on to them and try to get an extra 50 cents or a dollar it, it seems so silly to me <clears throat> so like i said i try to post them absolutely as competitive as possible and i'm trying a few different things with the shipping to try to make it a little more affordable crystal shard revel in the riches So hopefully that'll help me and you with the shipping. You know, trying to, like I said, I'm trying to do a few different things. If there is a, a, a listed shipping price on there, um, pretty much you just purchase what you want. And then when I go through and I'm packing it, usually within the same day, I'm, I'm packing everything up, packaging, packaging it and getting it ready to mail out. Um, What I do is I just go back through and I, I, I'll just refund you the difference in the shipping. So, because some of my stuff on there right now has free shipping and some of it has a, a shipping charge. So, if you order 10 cards and it's $350 a card to ship, I'll refund you, you know, the difference. I'll only charge shipping one time. So, I try to make it as reasonable as possible. Burrows. But yeah, so definitely check out the eBay page. Tons of good stuff on there. If you're into sports cards, there's some sports cards up there. I sold pretty much anything I I crack open, whether it's magic or sports related. I I price it so competitively that. I mean, it's usually sold within 24 hours. So pretty much the stuff that's up there now is, you know, lesser price stuff or a little less desirable stuff. But like I said, everything that's, that's you know, hot at the moment usually sells within 24 hours. So definitely if you see something on there, just keep checking it out because if I haven't put, like I said, I'm a little behind right now, the last couple videos, but, um. Yeah, if you see anything opened up here, definitely check out the eBay page if you want if you're looking to buy it cuz I guarantee you you're going to get it cheaper than pretty much anywhere else you can get it. 
I can almost guarantee that. Rocks. All right, we got three packs left. No mana crit yet. Not even a, a demonic tutor. Carpet of flowers. I'm trying to think. Um, a bloom tender. I mean, we haven't really gotten any heavy hitters, man. Unless I might have passed one by when I was yapping, but I don't think so. Grasp of Phantoms. Summit Prowler. That's pretty cool. Archive Sanctum. That's a pretty cool looking card, too. Ancient Den is a sweet card. Chasm Skulker. Lapse of Certainty. Who knows, though? There could be a Mana Crypt in this box, but it's in that pack right there. I might have to make up a Burner account and try to get back in on these, <laughs> on these giveaways. Stave Off. Dream Cash. Scab Goliath. Grave Digger. Marsh Hulk. That's pretty cool. Geomancer, Epic Confrontation, Pax Favor, hmm. all right, we're down to our last pack, hopefully we have at least something good in here. I think I might have passed passed an expropriate or something. I don't know. I feel like I I feel like I missed a card somewhere. I'm pretty good at that. I would definitely will pass by a card and not realize it. Ghost ship. Calculated dismissal. Hijack. Wall of fire. Greenwood sentinel. Wild Growth, Guild Mage, Dreadnought, Assemble the Legion, Anger of the Gods, and the Memnite. Alright, this I would have to say is probably, probably one of the, you know, not so hot boxes I've opened. Mystery box wise, because pretty much every one, other, every other one I opened up was pretty sweet, man. This one kind of was a little, a little dismal. I mean, like I said, no real heavy hitters in there, no, no cards that really jump out at you, but um, still some cool cards. I mean, we'll, I'll go through them and see what I got. But this pack right here, fellas, ladies, gentlemen, I know there's a few ladies that watch the watch the channel too. Leave a comment. It's all you got to do. I would appreciate it. If you subscribe, if you haven't already. But yeah, there could be a Mana Crypt, could be a Demonic Tutor, a Bloom Tender, a Ristic Study, who knows, Carpet of Flowers, Herald's Horn. There could be something good in here, man. So definitely leave a comment. Don't let that go to waste. That could be yours. As far as this other stuff goes, if any of this stuff here you like, check out eBay. Hopefully by, at least by Friday, I should have all that stuff posted up. Um, I got another Mystery Booster box we're going to open up too. I might do that a little later in the week. I'll do a giveaway pack from that. The Core 21 stuff is coming. As soon as it ships out, I think the first week of July, I'll have that. We'll do some giveaways out of that. And, uh, yeah, that's it. All right, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Definitely, definitely, definitely leave a comment. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. I'm out.